Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. How are you all doing on this fabulous Friday morning? So we are going to have a Freedom Friday video this morning, okay? So we know it's the weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend, so I want to wish you all a good weekend. And I want you all to be safe, okay? Remember why we are celebrating. Remember why, you know, people fought for us. So I want to talk about a rapper. He's 18 years old, and he's an up-and-coming rapper, his name is Metro Mars. He called himself Metro Mars, okay? He's 18 years old. He went back to his high school. They graduated, and he wanted to share some joy and happiness with his fellow classmates, okay? So he gave them $10,000. He just showered the audience with $10,000. He got up on stage. He just threw money out, and it was over like $10,000, okay? The police... And school officials found that to be a problem. And the police was called. The police came and arrested him. They had the nerve to say that this young man was starting a riot. He was inciting a riot because they started saying, let him go. You know, chanting, let him go, let him go. He was doing nothing. He was not committing a crime. They arrested him and said that he was inciting a riot. OK, he made it out. He was able to become successful. He made it out of poverty. OK, he freed himself and I'm sure his family and whoever else he freed himself. This is Freedom Friday. But a lot of times people want to keep you in bondage. Do not let that happen. Free yourself. You know, if you can better yourself, if you can um, better someone else, do that. This young man bettered himself and they put him in handcuffs they shackled him they are trying to say that he incited a riot now we know our great former president was accused of inciting a riot but he was let go no handcuffs no jail time no nothing not showering anybody with money showering people with racism and hate is what he was doing Okay, and people praised him, marched to the Capitol, and started a riot. They incited a riot. They fought, they shot people. They're still going to prison. He is seeking what they call immunity. So he won't be charged with anything. We already know that they didn't impeach him for it. We already know he got off. But for some reason now, they're telling him to go for immunity you know and that's because he won't be able to be charged with anything now or in the future this young man who was able to rise above his situation and become a famous you know i'm gonna say famous i never heard of him but if he can shower ten thousand dollars around with no problem and he's only 18 years old i would consider him to be a famous rapper wherever he is okay they arrested him and said that he was inciting a riot now, the article did not say, the article I read did not say if the charge is stuck or whatever, but it's just the, the audacity and the nerve. Of course, he was a black young man, Metro Mars, 18, but it's ridiculous. He didn't kill anybody. He was giving these kids money, his classmates. You know, they some of them probably needed the money for their families. You know, some of them probably wanted to use it. It was a, it was a, a graduation gift, you know? This young man was able to free himself from his circumstances and rise above it. And they want to hold him down and put shackles on him. Again, do not let anyone do that. You know, I commend him and I thank God that he was able to help, but they arrested him. These people arrested this young man. I just can't get over it. I keep repeating the same thing. They arrested him and said that he was charged with inciting a riot. Because the students got upset that they were trying to arrest this young man. So they was like, you know, let him go. Leave him alone, you know. And things got a little bit out of hand. But if anybody inside the riot was the police officers and whoever called them. And I believe the article said it was the school officials. And then they already had some police there, you know, because we can't celebrate and go anywhere. People of color without having a police around. You know that, right? FYI, but 
it's just ridiculous. You know, you try to do what's right. You get pulled over if you're if you're if you're not committing a crime. You get you can't drive down the street. Now you can't give away free money to people. You can't even help people. You can't give them free money. Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to hold this phone. Let me tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. I went into the store. Now, everybody know I love roses. I love roses department store. Their prices are not high. They sell cute things. Of course, they're not the best quality of things, but they sell cute things, right? I go in there yesterday on my lunch break. I get a phone holder for my car. Get it back to work. Take it out. Tighten it up. It fell apart in my hand. Go back. Couldn't put it back together. Spent the hour, me and a coworker trying to put it back together. Couldn't get it back together. It was $7 in taxes, you know? It wasn't expensive. So I take it back. They give me another one. I get in the car. Now it's just dangling. Like a dangling imparticible. A dangling participle. Just dangling, right? I'm like, okay. Take it right back in there. I'm in the parking lot. I didn't leave. I go in there. I get a whole nother brand. Get out to the car. It's missing parts. So roses is good for little things like some little pictures and some household things. Don't get no phone holder from them. I'm sorry, Rose. I got to sell you out. I got to sell you out. Don't get no electronic things like phone holders and things like that. Now, I did get a big flat screen TV from them, and it's still playing. It's, and it's, it's two years old. It's a lovely TV. But little things like that, little trinkets, I don't trust, you know? So anyway, we're going to end the video right here. I done throw my store under the bus. That was my boo thing. But I'm trying, I'm starting to give roses the side eye. I really am. So this is another pair of my sunglasses that my daughter gave me for Mother's Day. I love these. They have the little, like the little animal print going on. And then all the bling here. I love outlandish things. It matches my little blouse, you know? So well, anyway... <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to say stay free. Do the best that you can do, okay? So I'm going to say feel danke. That's thank you very much in German. So feel danke for watching me. And choose, that's what? That's by in German.